welcome to fifth gear. Now, it's fair to say that most cars, even bonkers supercars, are built with a measure of comfort and practicality. You know, they come with heaters, doors, windows, you know, that sort of stuff. But that all adds something that can limit potential driving fun. Weight. However, there's one breed of machine built with a different purpose in life, to let wannabe racing drivers go like the wind. I'm talking about these stripped-out sports cars. The heaviest car here weighs just 700 kilos, and the fastest gets to 60 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds. And to put that in context, there's no Lamborghini, Porsche or Ferrari currently on sale today that would beat it. So we thought we'd get four of the very best together to find out once and for all where you should put your money if your only priority is going fast. So, let's introduce them. The Xenos E10R, the newest model of R4. The Radical SR1, designed purely for the track. The Caterham 620R, the oldest manufacturer here. And finally, Somerset's first supercar, the Aerial Atom 3.5R. All these two-seaters are British built, and all four together could be yours for less than the cost of a Lamborghini. But which is the cream of the crop? I need someone to help me decide. I need you, Karun Chanduk. And here I am. It's a fifth gear death match. So, as usual, we'll be performing three tests. And at the end of each round, one car will drop out. We'll start by checking out their agility, because machines like this must have lightning reactions and be nimble around our tight test course. To ensure a fair result, JP has the keys to all four, while I'll stand by with the stopwatch. We'll start with the Xenos E10R. Its 2.3-litre turbo engine packs 354 horsepower, making it the most powerful car of our quartet. However, at 700 kilos, it's also the heaviest. From paper, it should do all right, but this test is all about nimble chassis. OK, three, two, one, go! Not too bad on the wheel spin. Round the roundabout. Whoa. He's got it going, he's got it going. The one caught him. Not as clean around the roundabout, but let's see into the garage. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Gets reverse gear all right. Up to the line. 28.13. It's really tricky to get it to move nicely at the rear. Next. Time for the Radical SR1. The Radical is the cheapest car by some way and also the least powerful with just 175 horsepower. However, at 490 kilos, it's also the lightest. Go. It's off the line. Bit of wheel spin at the start, but he's... It's not got a great turning circle, the Radical, but he's using his, uh, his right foot to get himself around the roundabout. That's working quite effectively. The SR1 is so track-focused, it's not actually road legal. But it's in our deathmatch because it's pretty special, and some people considering these types of machines might want all their thrills on the track. That was 26.34 for that one. I mean, it's epic. I mean, the engine's great, the gearbox works well. Yeah. It's a great thing, it sounds amazing. So, how will the Caterham do? The 620R is powered by a Ford engine, much like the Xenos, except this one's a two-litre supercharged one. So this should be great on the Autos S, because that's what these were kind of evolved to be good at over the years, you know, light, nimble. To me, this should be the winner here, but could be wrong, let's see. Right. Oh, he's got an aggressive start on that one. At the roundabout is where the Caterham should come into its own. Not as quick to get in reverse as I would have expected, but anyway, up to the line. 27.63, what do you reckon? That's it. What? It's in between the Xenos and the Radical. Time for the last car. Right, in the area that one. Now, last time I drove this car, I loved it. It goes like stink. And that's down to a two-litre supercharged Honda engine that puts out 350 horsepower, yet the car weighs just 550 kilos. 
But this test, of course, is not just about power. You've got to get off the line, but it's about agility. Mm. Let's see how we get on. Go! <laughs> Quick. That's neat and tidy, but quick. A little bit aggressive in the roundabout. But he's able to balance it really well on the throttle. Much better than the other one. That's so loud. Twenty-five point one. That's miles quicker than anything else we've had here today. That is I mean quick, it's over a it? second quicker than anything else. Clear winner. I love this car. So the Atom wins our agility challenge, but more importantly, it means that Xenos must leave the contest.